In this video, we will compare Airtable and Coda. If you guys want to get started with either Airtable or Coda, you can use the links given down in the description. When comparing Airtable and Coda, both platforms provide tools for managing data and workflows, but they approach these tasks differently. Airtable is a blend of a spreadsheet and a database designed to help users organize data in a visually intuitive way. It offers various views like grids, calendars, and Kanban boards, making it great for managing projects, tracking inventories, and collaborating on tasks. Airtable is highly customizable and well-suited for teams looking for an easy-to-use platform to handle structured data and collaboration. Airtable offers several pricing plans, including a free plan, a team plan at $20 per month, a business plan at $45 per month, and an enterprise plan for larger organizations. Coda, on the other hand, combines documents and databases into a single platform. It allows users to create documents that function like apps, embedding tables, buttons, and automation directly within the document. Coda is more flexible when it comes to creating interactive documents with built-in functionality, making it ideal for teams that want a powerful, all-in-one workspace for project management, note-taking, and document creation. Coda offers several pricing plans, including a free plan, a pro plan at $10 per month, a team plan at $30 per month, and an enterprise plan for larger organizations. In my opinion, Airtable is best for teams needing a straightforward, visual tool for managing structured data, while Coda is ideal for users who want a versatile document-based platform with advanced capabilities. Your choice depends on whether you prefer a database-centric or document-centric approach to managing your workflows. So that's the comparison between Airtable and Coda. Make sure to use the links given down in the description to get started with either Airtable or Coda. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.